Okay, so he is now my companion, which means he's going to follow me around. Oh, they changed where the thing is for controlling the companions. It used to be in the top right, and I guess people were not understanding that. So I guess it's more obvious now that it's down here in the bottom. So when they start off, they start off as a companion because then they'll follow you. So come here. This is what it's talking about. Worker, companion, guard. Currently working as companion. His job priorities right now are delivery and construction. I'm going to change construction to number one until we get the research desk built. A couple berries. I'm going to give him an axe. I'm going to put the axe in number one. Let's put his bat in number two because the axe does 20 damage and the club does 18. So, okay. Lubomir, what are we gonna, what else are we gonna need? Better flux wood and logs. Yeah, and then I still, they added the simple workbench separate, so I'm gonna need to make that too. So I'm gonna need stone, flax, and wood for that. Okay, I want to go back to where I'm building my town, which is right here. I want it to show on my mini-map to help me know the direction of where I'm going. This shows my village I'm building is over here. And personal shack one that I need to finish building. I'm going to click on it and set this as a waypoint. So this will show up on my mini-map now. So I can keep going in the right direction. Okay, come on, Lubomir. We need to get some sticks and flax. Oh, they changed the icon. Um, like... I'll show you with the, see, harvest mushrooms, harvest log. Because I gave him an ax, he can chop trees already or move to position. Um, I don't want him to harvest all those mushrooms, though. I want him to harvest oh. wood. So he's going to help me gather wood to build things on the way back to my camp. Yay. Okay, let's go around this way with Lubomir. Harvest wood. Whoa. Can you get that wood for me, please? Whoa. Let me get some flax, too, please. Oh, okay, so let me grab some flax on the way back. I'll be able to make a bag. Carry more stuff, and you can also make a bag bag for your workers. But since he's full of sticks, what I can do is I can send him on ahead of me while I'm collecting these. So, uh, settlement... Here's Lubomir. I have his number one right now at construction. Go be a worker. Now he's going to take that wood over there and start building the blueprints that I have laid out while I finish collecting this flax. Thanks, Lubo friend! When they are workers, they do move slower. So since I've caught up with him, I'm going to say, okay, be a follower again. Oof, I need to eat some berries. I'd be out of stamina. Almost there. There is fast travel in this game. But it comes at a cost. But I love that they have fast travel. Because I don't have time to be just running over the same space over and over and over again. Put all the resources I have in this pile. All it needs now is one more wood, and he happens to be carrying some wood. So, Lubomir friend, can you build that for me? You be a worker. Fill that up and build that for me. Did he just go to bed? Why did he disappear? It's not late enough for him to be in bed already. Oh, yeah, it is. It's 3.47 in the morning. That's why he went to bed. <laughs> Fine, I suppose that makes sense. All right, let me grab the extra wood then. Ha! Put it away. I know you like swinging that thing, but we're building right now. I go one direction and then the other, or else I get dizzy going round and round. <laughs> Four days until winter. We'll need to repair. Prepare. Okay. I am going to put some stuff in his storage, though. Alt all moves all of them at once. Oh, I didn't mean to do all the berries. Maybe they'll go 
find their own food when it's, you know, not winter and they can. Okay, so they've changed it and now I need to put down a workbench. So I'm just going to lay things out, these blueprints out. I don't have to have all the resources for them yet. I can lay out where I want things to be. Okay, let me think. Where do I want the simple workbench to be? I'm going to put the cooking stuff cooking area here in the middle. I'm gonna put the tents around. Let's put it on this side. I think that'll make sense. We'll see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put down my campfire. And I want the campfire to be, the cooking area to be kind of in the middle here. I want that to be near their housing tents because when they all, when the workers get up in the morning, they're hungry. I want to go get breakfast first. And then the research desk to be near my house because I want to remind myself constantly to make sure that I am researching something. That's gonna be my top priority. If you're wondering which way it's gonna face, see that little stick on the blueprint? That's the front. Very helpful when you're putting down chests. You don't wanna put chests down backwards because the workers will always try to get to the front of the chest to get into things. So I'm gonna put it right there. And then I'm not gonna bother with a camp chest yet. Okay, where's Lubomir? Why are you over there? What are you doing? Oh, son of a biscuit. It's because I left, see? I left that workbench not done, and he thinks he needs to be building that. So he went over there to build that. Okay, so can I delete that from here? Personal shack one. I have to go over there. Actually, it was... No, I'm going to have to go delete it. I shouldn't have put that down. But, Lubomir, you're right by the raiders. Are you going to bring them over here? That was close, friend. All right, I'm gonna have to go delete that. He's gonna keep trying to build it. Wait a minute. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do something for Luba <gasps> here, too. I need to make him a guard reservist. So if I need to fight, I can call him up. Well, this is not part of my um, efficiency plan going back over here to delete this thing, but it'll be fine. Hey, there's a cow out in the field. Can I kill it? Such a survival gamer thing to say. Nope, but I can spank it in the butt. <laughs> Get her moving. Go on out of here, as my stepdad would say. Go on out of here. That's a Texas farmer rancher thing you gotta have the right you gotta have the texas accent on it go on out here it's really it's just one word simple workbench uh why well, well he already built it so fine it's there now it won't hurt to have it thanks thanks friend okay well since you're here let me gather some things up here Ooh, grab some flax while you're here can't so get out yeah he keeps doing it and just gets me out of that view okay cool i need some more sticks Ooh. Ooh. um lubomir where do you go there you are your inventory is full so go ahead and go be a worker and finish building that stuff over there please thank you very much grab a few more Oh no, Lubomir, why are you going there? Why are you going there? He's getting really close. Are they going to attack him? Do I need to go save him? They didn't attack him. You are the luckiest Lubo in the world. Why are you running? What happened? Oh, he's just working fast. What? Get on it. Okay, he's building the campfire. I want him to build the research desk first. So... I'm gonna go to my settlement tab, research desk, make this priority one. Do that first, please, friend. He's hungry, so he's taking a break to go find some food. Waiting for employment. It's because the research desk isn't built yet, but he is still assigned to crafting too. 
He is still assigned to building and stuff too. Right, okay. That's right. I need to do the research desk. He, because he's putting it n as number one is for doing the research. Can I make it number one for building it first? Maybe if I change... I'm gonna do number the research desk first now. Yes! Okay, so that made him not only want to do the research first, but he's also building for the research first. And look at that. I already gave him an axe. I made an axe before I had him, remember? And so he's automatically going and chopping down the tree that we need to finish building the research desk. That's why I took the time to make two axes so he'd have one and he could get straight to work. I'm back. Got the old coffee out. Got new coffee ready to go in. Managing your settlers. The more powerful your settlement becomes, the more likely it is to attract raiding parties. Invest into guards and better gear to fight them back. Oh, my raid chances must have gone up because we're building. Build outposts. Don't limit yourself to just one settlement. You may need resources that are found in the other corners of the region. That's true. You can find all the useful information in the town overview screen, which is tab. Look, my research desk is done. Yay! Construction is simple. Workbench has finished. He has been a busy bee. Thanks, Lubo friend. First thing we need to do is set research. We need research for a small trap. This is to start research. Duration, one minute to research it. Progress resources that are in. <gasps> I have this already too. You used to have to like get up in the tech tree to be able to build the short bow and now I can get it right away. The plank shield too you can get right away. You couldn't get that right away before. Thanks for building the campfire friend. Okay I'm gonna make the research desk priority one. This always needs to be priority one for somebody. The bloomery we couldn't do that right away before. That's genius. Thank you, Donkey Crew. Okay, let's see if we can do things up now. I think the next thing that I was gonna do is the logging camp because you always need wood for everything. If you're a member, um, either through YouTube or through Patreon, you're gonna have access to my list. Of course, I'll be doing videos, but if you want a checklist, you'll be able to get that if you're a member. As what we're doing right now, I need to put in five wood. I already got it in there for you, buddy. And the workers automatically assigned to it. And also, see the icon over their head? That's related to what it is that they're doing at the time. If you see walker, workers walking around with a dot, dot, dot over their head a lot, that means that they're unassigned. They're idle. And I don't want them to be idle. I always want to have something that they can do. And look, he's already built everything here that I laid out in the village. So now he's idle. So I need to give him something else to do. So what I need him to do is come over to the workbench. This side is manage. There's two options on all workstations for you to do it or for you to manage for your workers to do it. This is the manage side. This is the side that I use to craft. I want him to make a small trap. And not only do I want him to make one, I'm going to top it off, top it up. Because I want there always to be a certain number of traps in the village. Right now I want it to always be three. It has a progress bar. So I want there to always be a certain number of traps because you can use traps three or four times before they break and then they have to be replaced. I'm also going to make one myself. The better crafting skill I get the faster I'll be able to craft and the more my crafting skill will go up. Okay, so I want to place my traps so that we'll be able to have meat. Winter is in like three or four days now. You can't pick any plant in the winter because they're all dormant. And so we've got to rely on meat and food that can last longer, which we don't have the smoker yet. So traps need to be placed in wooded areas. Raid threat increased. Of course it did. I'm going to put them over here for now. I might put some over there. 
Um, I do not want to put them where I'm going to put my logging camp because if you put them in a wooded area and then chop all the trees down, it's not the best plan. Okay. So. And remember we saw a bunch of bunnies over in this area? There's one. That's going to allow me once we catch a bunny to get my pelt for the elder, but I need to add a berry as bait. You can also use mushrooms here. They don't have to be super far away from each other. And I don't want them too far away from the villain, spending too much time once they're handling the tra traps. They changed the icon. It used to be a berry, uh, I mean a bunny for the icon. Now it looks like a trap, like a bear trap. Those are ready. Logging camp unlocked. Yes, thank you, friend. So, that's done. As soon as that's done, I want to add more research. So, two of the first things that you're going to get available to research are the logging camp and the stockpile. And sometimes people, once they unlock certain things and this list gets longer, get distracted and want to do all the fun, shiny things. Don't do it. Start with the basics. I'm doing the foraging camp next. So that needs five berries, five stone, and five mushrooms. Good. Okay, so when you get the logging camp, you automatically get the lumberjack spot. The logging camp, I'm going to go put in big forest area. You know what? I put those traps over there, and I'm going to put them on that side. When they break, I'll move. I'll move the new ones over to this side. Because there's more forest on this side than on this side so it's gonna log this area spot i'm gonna put the lumberjack spot in the town not by the logging thing because the lumberjack spot is where they chop logs into wood and we're gonna need that a lot we're gonna want it going in our storage app. but before i do that in order to <gasps> it won't let me foiled they were onto my plan I was going to put down a second research desk so I could queue things up. Fine. Fine. I guess they considered that an exploit, maybe. I mean, I never saw anybody do it, but I was going to do it. What the? He snores so loud. That was the loudest snore ever, Lubo friend. When can you upgrade the cooking fire? Um, first, I have to make the bloomery to be able to make uh, 10 ingots because you need a 10 ingot to make it a smoking fireplace. Okay, where am I at? Before I do any sleeping, he will start preparing the logging camp. Here we go. You're such a loud snorer, Lulu. There's the mushrooms right there on the side. What was that? I mean, we both have axes. We could go take them out and I can stop worrying about it. Pretty sure I'll still get the renown. I'm hearing things in the bushes. Do y'all hear that? Maybe it's just bunnies running around. <sighs> Three days until winter. Who is yelling? Oh no. They're here. Is my axe out? No. Axe out. Oh, thanks. <gasps> Renown went up. Get him, Lubo. How dare you? Oh no, wait! Why is my axe not out? I thought I got it out. Alright, I suck at this combat. Let's see? It's dangerous to respawn. Respawn available in 25 seconds. I can move around and look well. Okay, I don't know why my axe wasn't out. I thought I had gotten it out. So apparently when you wake up in the morning, your weapon is not out. Ubamir is going to be down for a little while, but he'll recover. It's okay. I'm going to get your remains, because how dare you. Drop is my loot, which is just the wood that I had in my inventory. When you get killed, you keep your weapons in your hotbar. You just lose, like, all of the loot that you had. Whoa. Combat! Swipe your mouse left, right, up, or down, and click left mouse button at the same time to perform a directional attack, or right mouse button to perform a directional block. Hold left mouse button longer to perform a heavy attack. Observe your enemies carefully when they attack and block in the same direction. Remember that footwork and keeping distance are the key to success. 
There is plenty of weapon types, swords, axes, bows, shields, and more. Advance your town and unlock technologies to be able to order them or craft them yourself. Yeah, I am going to need some practice with the directional combat. I've not played a game that has directional combat before. <coughs> Let's see, like I'm moving my mouse. Left. Left. It seems opposite. So I'm pointing. That's why I keep screwing up so much. I was thinking the way you move your mouse is the way it swipes, but it's not. It's like you're pointing at the direction that you want to hit from. So it's exactly opposite of what I was doing. And if you have time, you can hold and do a big hit. I just saw something genius. Look at those traps. They have a little thing coming up showing me that they've caught something. It didn't used to do that. Love. That's genius. And I got my pill. There are things moving in the bushes. Do y'all hear that? And they're easier to find too. You like used to have to really use the mini map a lot to be able to find the traps because they blend in. I like it. Was it three axes that I wanted topped up in the village? I think it was supposed to be four. Oh, he only made one. So that means that it's counting the traps that are already out there as well. In the total that are in the village. So that means if I want three extras, I need to make this six. Okay. I also want to keep topped up simple axes. It's on my list and I forgot to do it. So I want one for each of the villagers and one for the logging station and one for the chopping station. So I'm going to top this up to four, keep four axes in the village at all time. And then I'll increase that by one every time I get a new villager. I can start cooking. Cook food lasts longer. And also it doesn't go bad while it's sitting on the spit. So that's helpful too. Is there livestock in the game? Can you keep cows or horses? Not yet. Not yet, Nathan, but it's on the list of things to come. Particularly horses, they're working out. They had a model done for horses, um, but they didn't like it. They thought it was too janky. And so they kind of went back to the drawing board on that. So we knew that horses wouldn't be here in time for early access release. So there is a, a point of choice that's going to come up for us really soon, and that is whether or not to, hi to hire a beggar in town, because beggars are cheap. It's the first villager other than Lubomir that you can get, and there's kind of a running debate about whether to hire a beggar or not. They're cheap, but they're dullards and they're lazy and they have crap skills and can't get good skills but in the beginning you can at least use them for some stuff like use them as a pack mule and to do grunt work and to be a meat shield and then when you're done with them you can uh, release them and get a little bit of renown back some people don't even want to bother with them they want to save all their renown to get a higher level villager so it's really a matter of preference and then from there on you know it's like how much your skill, your renown, and, and all of the factors that go into their prices of what they cost. So I, I'm still debating myself. I think I might get a beggar just to have in the beginning and then let him go later. Or maybe go send him to work at a mining camp. How is Lubomir doing? Has he recovered yet? Idle? What do you mean you're idle? Fall, oh, that's why. Fallen in battle will appear as a worker in your settlement shortly. He's back. Hey. Now see he's injured. If I inspect him. He has a head trauma. Oh no. Sorry. Get back to work. You can see his health bar going up as he's healing. I, I think I'm probably going to get a beggar, Dwayne. I think I probably am. Especially since I'm bad at combat and I'm still learning the combat system. I can use him as a meat shield and order them out in front of me when I'm out doing things. But it really is a matter of preference. 
I also still have my camp marked as a waypoint, a mini map, so I can keep finding it easier to go back home. When wow, this is a good place to get rabbits. Look, they're already caught again. Excited, excited. Okay, I do have this. I did put this. Yes, pop up. Small traps and simple axe. So that's good to go. Before I leave and go talk to Dobron, I want to make sure I have him things to do. This has the foraging camp. Uh-oh, battle. We're going to have to take these guys out. Um, I suck at this. <coughs> okay, I gotta remember, it's not... Oh. I'm gonna die. Oh. Blue mirror! Oh, crap, I forgot. I should use my quick key to call him. Okay, I'm injured now. Are they still around? Eh, they're walking away. Okay, and see, my weapon is put away again. I gotta remember to take it out not out automatically. They better not have taken my freaking trap. Okay, let me drop off my extra stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, build, have him build a chest now too. The chest that stick on things tell you what's the front so they're not. Like if I face this chest the other way to get something out of it for the campfire, they would walk all the way around to the side to get it out and then walk all the way back to the campfire. So. Ooh, and their skill for laborer went up to two. Yay. Okay, so I have in my inventory three small traps and a pelt. Lubomir has lots of things assigned for him to do as work. So I am going to go and talk to Dobron again. So I'm going to mark as a waypoint. Hope you don't mind my questions. No, not at all. I welcome questions. I like to help people. I mean, that's why I do guides. And if you ask something that I don't know, then I know that's something that I need to figure out and learn. Because if you ask it, then somebody else is wondering it too. The same question gets asked a lot, then that tells me lots of people don't understand that or... Rabbit, go get in my trap. Come here, rabbit. What time is it? Oh, I want to get here before he goes to sleep. But if I am too late, remember we made that extra shack at the beginning. So. Keeping the peace here in the Nothing name to of see Lord here. Ashburn. I'm not doing anything, officer. Let's talk. Let's talk, Dobron. Here's your fur. Don't ask me how. Are we good yet? That's good. Really impressive. Unfortunately, that's not the end. I need something more from you. Do you really? Shocking. You see, we have a problem with wolves. And someone has to take care of them. Wolves? That sounds dangerous. Fine. I'll bring you wolves. Well, wolf pets. Okay, so I gained trust in Herndine of 50. So that's on the right. My renown is what's at the top, which shows the 62. So, I'm going to need to go and kill some wolves. The wolves are over there. I am going to want Lubomir to help me with this. Actually, I don't really... I could do the wolves without Lubomir, but I'm not going to because the devs have said the number one tip that they would get. Well, I won't say they. Keep one going. of the devs said the number one tip that he would give is for people to use their villagers more. Day five, two days until winter. The first winter isn't too bad. They kind of designed the first winter to teach you about winter. Um, but as you progress through the game, winters get harder. Okay, so I am going to go and kill wolves. And I would like... I need to get used to using a quick key. In for settlement. Population. Lubomir. I want you to come and be my companion, please. Thank you. He's going to head to me. I am going to remember to get my weapon out. Lubomir was injured in battle. Oh, son of a biscuit eater. It's because those freaking... Okay, we're going to have to take those guys out. That's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and get the loot from here now. That's different than what it was before. And not nearly as many books. I don't like this change at all. Got some dried berries and fish stew. They're giving a lot more details on the food now. 
Oh, health and regen. Productivity plus 30%. I'm going to have to do a deep dive into the new cooking food. Okay, so here's a book. So reading a book increases your skills for you or your worker. This is an apprentice book on shield. So I'm going to read this book. I'm going to hit P. It's going to take me here. Here is shields. If I click on that, I had the Shields book, so I am now reading that. You don't have to stay in here to be able to read a book. You can just carry on with your day. Fallen in Battle will appear. We had slept, so he was he was um, repaired. I have to take those guys out, even if I have to kill over and over, die over and over because I suck at combat. Tin ore, that's on my list while I'm over here killing the wolves. I want to get some tin ore and copper. Although Lubomir is supposed to be here with me, helping me and carrying some stuff back home after this. And also, this is going to be near River Reeds. It's not as big a deal to get these River Reeds right now, especially since I don't have Lubomir helping me. Oh, what was that? Oh, find. I got close enough to find the wolves. They're showing up on my map. What is this? This wasn't here before. Let me know what y'all think about the level of detail that I'm including in these gameplay videos. Do you like getting this level of detail? Would you rather I just jump faster through things? Let me know in the comments. And next time we're taking on wolves, I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Like if you liked it and subscribe for more Bellwright. Until next time, happy gaming.